What happens when you have a population of over 15 million people who love to shop living in one city? Well, you build hella malls, of course. <laughs> Today, I'm taking a walk down in downtown Tianhe district of Guangzhou and checking the cluster bomb of malls that basically are all next door to each other. And I'm also there buying some toys for my students. I think it's pretty crazy just how many malls there are here and just kind of blew me away when I first got here. So maybe you'll find it a little bit interesting too. And you can at least just see some of the beautiful downtown city at night. All right, let's check it out. Hello, YouTube. It's me, Evan Hillis. And here we are in downtown Tianhe, which is the downtown part of Guangzhou City. The heart of civilization right here. We got... Uh, going into Grandview Mall today. One of three malls that's literally on this walkway. You literally go from one mall to another to another. It's pretty crazy. There's just that many people that you need to have three malls literally next door to each other. But here we got the freaking Eye of Sauron. And it's uh, one of the first skyscrapers that's been in Guangzhou. And over there behind those trees is a huge roundabout that people can do. It's a Guangzhou sports center. There's also a soccer field there. And over there, some buildings. That's actually where the first location of our school is, somewhere in there. A big ass intersection over here. You can see it is just full of people tonight. It's a mon uh, yeah, it is a Monday night, and we're out here drinking a beer, as is my right. <laughs> it is my noble right. But yeah, so we're gonna go into the mall. Beer in hand because it's okay, even though it's slightly frowned upon, but it's not illegal. So, and we're gonna go buy some toys for the kindergarten. So let's do it. As you can see, there's tons of pop-up shops outside. When you think of American consumerism, sure, we have it pretty good, but man, Chinese consumerism is pretty insane as well. I don't know which one is more intense but just advertisements everywhere in the city all right so we're gonna mask up as we go in usually they'll check our temperature but i guess not today all right i guess the temperature check is over today we are looking for the miniso which is actually a japanese company stop this is where it all went wrong I've been living the last seven years of my life thinking that this company was Japanese when actually it's just a Chinese company masquerading as a Japanese company to make it look a little bit more high end. Once again, China has bamboozled me, but either way, it's still a cool store. Company. It's basically like a dollar store. It's got tons of cheap stuff and it's actually pretty decent quality as well. So let's check it out. Right, where the hell am I going? It's nice, you know, you don't get a lot of freedoms here, but the freedom to drink a beer wherever you want, oh, that's a nice one. Central area here. Got the whole mall. It's probably a map somewhere. Aha! There it is. Mini so. All right. We found it. And just some time to finish my beer as well. All right. Find a garbage can and toss this away. There we go. Recycle that son of a beat. All right, here we are, Miniso. It's like 
everything you could ever want. We've got hats, we've got sunglasses. Basically everything here is under 20 bucks. Usually like two to $10, something like that. We're here for some toys today. So let's see what we got. We've got snacks, toy cars. Check these out. Bluetooth headphones with the exact same design as Apple headphones. But it's totally fine here. They are slightly longer, I think. So they're not exactly the same. But as far as copyright laws go, I don't believe they exist or certainly not enforced. All these ones, different colors. You know, they're actually not that bad of quality. And let's see how much they are. 15 RMB, that is literally like $2. Slightly more than $2. Before we check out the toys, uh, let's just look again at these AirPod knockoffs. I think the case is a little bit smaller. Other than that, they're almost identical. The bottom seems to be a little bit different as well, where they, the charger part of it is. But I mean, yeah, I don't know. I haven't tested the quality, but uh, and for only 20 bucks, it's certainly better than 200. <laughs> And another thing they got here is fake Legos, or as you might say, Fagos. These are two for 10 RMB, so literally less than a dollar for each of these little things, uh, which is probably what they should be priced, but you know, Lego brand obviously makes them very much more expensive in the States. This one is only 15 RMB, it's about $2. See, we've also got some clothing, underoos, shoes, sand slippers, nice little these things. Look at that, five dollars, maybe six dollars. Cups, toothbrushes, we. Do pretty much all your home furnishing with stuff from here and despite it being super cheap it's actually the quality is not too bad so we got a good haul some transforming toys these are about 50 RMB which is like 10 bucks less than that now as you can see we got a good haul whole bunch of crap <laughs> This should be good for the next <coughs> two to three months. And now we are out of here. And uh, let's walk outside and check out those other malls from the outside. And I did not realize I was running this red light until editing this video. Oops. So here we have Gray Central, sorry, Park Central Mall, which is another mall. Mostly it's underground, that's why it's not very tall like the other one. As you can see, one of the few Apple stores, the legit ones. Those only came to Guangzhou in the last couple years. Before that, you had to travel to Hong Kong and it was a huge pain in the butt. Although, I never minded too much because going to Hong Kong is always super fun. At least it was before all the started going down. But yeah. 
Can't really go there now, but you still can buy stuff here. Although the import price is a bit more expensive than the Hong Kong store. All right, that's mall number two. And then we cross the street here. This building is home to a third mall, T-Mall, which we will be coming up on shortly. And here is T-Mall. Another Adidas store, Starbucks, a whole bunch of stuff inside. Pretty much the same as the other malls. And yet they are literally a two minute walk away from each other. There's Grandview Mall just right down there where we were. And here's T-Mall. And there was also Park Center back there. So, that, <laughs> is it and there's even another mall over there so and probably over there and there's also plenty around here it's crazy it's like mall central right here but yeah it's literally like five or something malls all within a stone's throw from each other Definitely different from Arizona, where we have malls several miles apart, and you definitely can't walk between them. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. I've got this giant handful of bags. It's cutting off the circulation to my fingers. So I'm going to hop in a taxi and go home, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!